as I'm given advice many times before, is beware and careful of the word khawarij and calling people khawarij. Be careful of that term. That's a very serious term, calling someone from the khawarij. That's a hukum shar'i. Babu al asma'i wal ahkam. Giving someone a name and a title and calling them the khawarij is not easy, it's not simple. And the Prophet ﷺ spoke on these people that will come, known as the khawarij. All right, and there are things of which the ulama agree regarding the khawarij, and the things of which they differ regarding the khawarij, like any other issue of ilm. What's important is, is a person criticizes a ruler, and he says, this ruler is a, a dhalim, he's a wrongdoer, he, he, he electrocuted me in jail, he locked me up, he seized my mesh, he took my books from me, he prevented the religious people from praying, he did this, he's a wrongdoer. You can't just say, oh, you're from the khawarij. Is it permissible to call him a wrongdoer? Is it from the sunnah to talk about the ruler? That's a different story. But just because he says something about a ruler doesn't mean he's what? From the khawarij. Or if there's a scholar who says it's permissible to vote. Or it's permissible to enter parliament. Or it's permissible to protest. And that's his ijtihad. Whether he's right or wrong, you can't just label him a what? Khawarij. Or if there's another person who says that we have to make jihad fi sabidillah. It's fard. It's a, it's a commandment in the Quran and the Sunnah. Man mata. Walam yaghzu. Walam yuhadith nafsahu bil ghazbi. Mata ala shu'bata min al-nifaq. Okay, man qala alayhi salam. The Prophet says, whoever dies without fighting and without having the intention to fight would die upon hypocrisy. So it's not a, a ruling that I make up or you make up. So if a person says there has to be jihad, oh, you're from the khawarij. It doesn't work like that. It's not that simple. You can't just call someone, label someone khawarij. Because they do something that you differ with or differ on or disagree with. The Khawarij have a specific way of looking at things and doing things. And it's not just talking about a ruler or talking about jihad. Or saying that this, this ruler is a kafir, he's a murtad. He said that the Quran is unfair. It says, I have a zulm. Malish. Huh? You, 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 you can't just say that like that. He could be right for saying he's a kafir or what? Or wrong. But it doesn't mean that he has the madhab of the khawarij. The khawarij have usul. And from those usul is what I just mentioned, is that iman is one piece. It does not fluctuate. And this is a mistake that many students of knowledge, they make. You cannot understand madhab al khawarij. Hatta tafama madhab ahl sunnah fil iman. What do ahl sunnah believe regarding iman? Can it fluctuate? Can it go up? Can it go low? And this is one of the reasons why the khawarij strayed. They believe if you make a sin, there's no low iman. You're automatically a what? Khalas. You've left the fold of Islam. And secondly, the khawarij, they do not accept all, or if not most or many ahadith. Raduha bil hawa. And from that, or the hadith concerning shafa, intercession. They didn't accept those hadiths. So if a person fights a ruler, or if a person says that the ruler is a fasik, or says the person is an apostate, it does not mean that the person is from the khawarij until they have some of those other usul. I would understand this. And the ulama of Islam, they have mentioned Bab Ahkam al Bugah. And in all books of fiqh, there's a chapter called Ahkam al Bugat. And the Bugat are people who have a problem with the leader. They have an issue with the leader. And they say he's wrong and he's unjust. And they pick up arms against him. And they are not called khawarij. And the reason why they didn't call them khawarij is because they did not have those usul of the khawarij, such as a takfir bil kaba'ir. So the concept of using the word khawarij is not purely a scholastic issue in 2019, but it's oftentimes used by governments and supporters of governments to stifle and to silence their political opponents. Someone criticizes our regime, the easiest way to legitimize the regime and to illegitimize his criticism is to call him khawarij. That's how it all started. And then the amateuristic young shabab, they took it and they spread it to the West. And they start calling and labeling every single person khawarij. And what does this fool understand? Is that what's going on in Egypt, or Libya, or Syria, or Saudi Arabia, how is that helping you and your community, your people, your family? What is that doing for you? It's not doing anything for you. It's not helping you out. It's not improving the quality of life, Islamically or worldly. And you don't realize that you've been used and manipulated and caught up in a whirlwind of useless propaganda. Useless propaganda. Calling these people, getting involved with the politics of other countries that are not in your country. Alright, so we said this before. We warned the youth against... Alright? So that's, that's first and foremost, alright? That's first and foremost. 
as far as what makes a, a, a ruler legitimate, then the ulama of Islam, in light of the ayah, inni ja'ilun fil ardi khalifa, Allah said to the angels that I'm making a khalifa in the land, ذكروا شروط الخلافة وشروط الخليفة وذكروا أحكام الخلافة They mentioned the rulings of someone being a khalifa and how a person becomes a khalifa Shinqiti rahimahullah he mentions this in Adwa'u al-Bayan the shuroot of one nasb al-khilaf and yani kayfiyat ithbat al-khilaf how is it done? it's rulings it's not just you just say a person is a ruler or isn't a ruler it's ahkam I would understand this and from these ahkam is that the person of course has to be a Muslim and many of the ulama they say that person is supposed to be mujtahid he's supposed to be a learned scholar and some of them say he's supposed to be a khurashi huh? and some of them they say that he is supposed to be uh, brave and courageous and pious and there are other conditions that they mention he has to be free he can't be a slave there are other conditions that you mention for him to be a khalifa as far as a ruler who isn't a khalifa an imam or an amir then of course that's a branch of the khalifa who's appointed on my deathbed I leave you in charge I will see you bil I put you in charge in my will the Amir is a branch of the Khalifa I mean understand this some of the conditions are the same and others what are not the same what's important is is the ruler is supposed to be someone who is righteous someone who is physically mentally and spiritually strong and someone who's supposed to be high born I wish the people look up to him and they respect him and they don't have an excuse to talk down or to disrespect his lineage and his background. And he's supposed to be someone who has the power. He's supposed to have the strength and the ability to implement Allah's rulings upon his subjects. These are some of the conditions that the ulama of Islam have mentioned with regards to a hakim shar'i, a legitimate Islamic ruler who has to be obeyed and listened to and followed Ha bil ma'roof and the good permissible things. All right. As far as 2019 and the modern world today and the politics today and the secular world in which we live today, then I don't think you need a 500-page book, nor do I think you need to sit down and scratch your head to realize what's going on in the world today and the countries and the politics of the world today. It doesn't take a scholar to realize what the people want and what they don't want, what they're trying to implement and what they don't wish to implement. Ha. Huh? والعافية والسلامة تفضل أخانا للأسف الله المستعان أحد الأسئلة أجبت عليه هو عن عن الخوارج قد أجبت عليه حتى أعتقد اعتقاد الخوارج لكن كنت أسأل عن الضابط قد أجبت عليه هنا شيخ السؤال الثاني من باب سد الذرائع يقال أن فلان خارجي أو هكذا لأنه طالما أنه يتكلم عن الحكام ذلك <تصفيق> العالم الإسلامي للأسف لكن أعتقد والله أعلم أن الإشكال ليس في قضية سد الذرائع الإشكال الآن هو قضية الخلط ناس يخلطوا يعني لنفرض أن هذا الحاكم فعلا كافر قد ذكر العلماء أنه لا يجوز الخروج عن الإمام الكافر المرتد إلا بشروط وضوابط لماذا؟ لأنه يترتب عليه ما يترتب عليه من سفك الدماء واستباحة الأعراض والفروج والأموال إلى آخره فهذا شيء قضية يعني نحن نحول ونكون الضوابط تنعكس وتنقلب هذا الذي أخشى منه أن نسمي كل من خالفنا خارجي وكل من انتقد عالما أو واليا أنت خارجي هذا بباب تنابز بالألقاب قضية هل يجوز يتكلم على الحكام هل كان السلف يدعون لهم أم عليهم مسألة أخرى ثانية قد يحرم الكلام قد يحرم هذا قد يحرم هذا لكن قضية نصنفهم ونسميهم خوارج بكل هذه السهولة وبدون يعني أي ما تحفظ هذا يفتح باب فقد والله أعلم قد يقول قائل أن ما رمته من سد الذرائع كذلك يقال في التسمية بالخارجي 
أنه لابد أن يحسم هذا الباب ولا يفتح باب شر عظيم نسمي كل واحد خارجي خارجي وكلكم خوارج وفعلا يقول أنا ماذا بعث السنة والجماعة ما يكفر بالذنوب ما يرود الأحاديث بل قد لا يرى الخروج عن العمة الظالمين يعني الظلمة الجائرة لكن اجتهاده قاده إلى تكفير هذا الوالي فقضية خلط هذا الآن لو فتح باب يعني نقلت هذا بينه وذاك يصير ما صار عرفت كيف؟ ف ف يعني أنا أوافق في هذه النقطة يعني حسم باب الإفساد بالخروج والقتل والتشريد بلا شك لكن لا يعني أننا نحول المعلومات عرفت كيف؟ لأن لو لو ترك هذا الشيء لهؤلاء يصير فساد عريض جدا بل أنت أشعري أنت تقول يعني هذه الصفة في هذه الآية معنى هكذا أنت أشعري وهذا مت ما يصير أنا لا أشعريا أعتقد ماذا برسول الله جماعة لكن في هذه الجزئية أنا سرت مع كلام فلان ولازم الصفة كذا ولا فهم كيف ف يعني لسنا نصنف ونسمي ونلقب أي شخص في جزئية هذا الإشكال كيف يكون أصل لو كان أصلا لما اختلفوا فيه بصفة عامة أنا أقصد على سبيل المثال لو سألتك ما معنى وجه الله ما معنى هذه الصفة طبعا أنت ستجيب وجه الله كما يليق بجلاله عز وجل لكن هل وجد في كلام بعض المفسرين أن وجه الله في هذه الآية معناه كذا كل شيء هالك إلا إيش معناه كلام أهل التفسير موجود ذاته عز وجل أطلق جزء عن الكل هذه جزئية لا يعني أني أعتقد أن وجه الله شيء معنوي لا أبدا لكن في هذه الجزئية ليس قضية القاعدة العامة والأصل العام فهمت علي؟ هذا هذا الذي أقصد يعني يعني ما نختلف في الأصول وإنما قد نختلف في التطبيق والتنزيل بعض هذه الأشياء في جزئيات فبعض الشباب العجلين يقولون هذا أشعري هذا خارجي هذا صوفي إذا قلت يعني لازم نكون نحن على زهد كذا في هذه المسألة لا ينبغي تجلس هكذا لا ينبغي تلبس هذه الساعة تقول أنت صوفي لا أنا لست صوفي ولا أعتقد أن ماذا بالصوفية لكن في هذه الجزئية أقول كذا وكذا هذا الذي أقصد فهمت علي؟ والله والله أعلم حياكم الله الله المستعان خلاص صلى الله وسلم مبارك على عبده ورسوله نبينا وإمامنا محمد